Thompson. Zach Thompson. Oh my gosh. Is this Jacob, for real? How are you? Good to be here. Hey, Good Zach. To see you. Zach Thompson, welcome to the SDR Alpha, my friend. Finally, the long awaited pod app. Look at you Zach, out by the pool so recording podcasts. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. I'm moving it around for nice engagement. Love it. Um, Zach, I know you're always super busy over there. You are senior manager, global sales development and expansion. I'm sure you have a lot to do. We're going to do a nice concise edition. Starting with Zach, I've heard you say your happy accident of how you fell into SaaS sales and Discover.org, now Zoom Info. So you have the mic, Zach. Yeah, sure. So really uh, quick, short short version of what could be a really long story is uh, right out of school, um, I went to work for my fraternity, um, doing recruiting and consulting for all of our West Coast chapters and was great for where I was in my life at the time. But uh, after about a year and a half of that, you know, really started looking for like, what's next? Where, where can I really invest myself and grow and, and launch, you know, a, a career where I have a lot of upward trajectory and I had actually kind of got to a place where I was just like I need to I need to do something else um, and started just kind of blasting out applications and truly at the time didn't really know what Discover Org was all about didn't know what Zoom Info was all about and um, the recruiter from Discover Org just happened to be the first one to call me back and a few days later I, I had the job offer and uh, that was, you know, a little over three years ago so uh, just kind of you know, it all came together and, and was sort of meant to be. Amazing. Amazing. And I believe in a previous conversation, you said you thought you were going to law school. And a lot of times people fall into SaaS and software as a service, whether it's sales, content marketing, it's a great industry. And a lot of people do fall into it. Okay, Zach, moving right along. Happy accident. Check. What is, what is it like? Everyone watching is, is wondering what it's like to work directly with Henry Schuck, who has become a, uh, you know, that modern SaaS CEO that everyone loves, you know, MVP CEO, what it's like to work with him, and then maybe a bit about your favorite feature about Zoom, about the platform. Yeah, I mean, we could spend probably an entire hour here just talking about what it's like to work for uh, a really charismatic and, and driven and passionate and convicted leader like Henry is. Um, I think, you know, Henry really sets the tone for the rest of the company in just how much drive he has, how fired up he is all the time. I mean, when we were back in the office and he walks into a room, it's like, it's go time. And he's in everybody's face in a good way. Like, you know, what are we doing? Okay. What are we doing to be excellent? What boundaries are we pushing? Where are we going next? Like, how are we being excellent today? And, um, and that really sets the tone for how the rest of the company operates. You know, it's a very like sales first culture, which I really appreciate. And um, Henry will literally drop what he's doing to get on a call with a potential customer or a current customer to help them solve problems and to understand what we can do to provide value for them. Um, and so just, you know, working for somebody like that makes it so much easier for you to get really fired up and for you to really care about what you're doing and to feel like you know, you're working on something that matters and is making a difference. Um, so Henry's a really special CEO. In fact, uh, I was fortunate enough to have a meeting with Henry just earlier today and, and like, walking out of that Whoa. meeting it was just like man like let's go run through some walls like let's go define new possible so it's it's really special wow thank you for sharing that 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 little inside information that you had the energy of henry this morning so that is so cool yeah um okay i'm now using zoom info at title consulting and awesome. love it it's, awesome. it's kind of insane how direct you can get to exactly who you need to get to and easy. what is your favorite feature about zoom info yeah so right now something that i'm really excited about it's kind of a new space that we're getting into and um not something that I have a lot of background in or, or really a lot of knowledge of prior to us kind of getting into this space, but we're now starting to play a little bit in the digital advertising space. And we are helping digital advertisers run campaigns um, that are segmentable and, and targetable and getting in front of audiences that were previously very hard to or impossible to kind of carve out. 
Um, and so there's a lot of learning that comes along with that. Uh, a lot of challenges, you know, learning a new vocabulary and learning, you know, a new set of pain points and uh, trying to anticipate challenges that the buyers of, of that type of solution face day to day. Um, but nobody else in the space can do what we're doing with that, with the target audiences and our acquisition strategy several months ago. Um, there's a really, really large addressable market there. I mean, billions and billions of dollars of digital advertising revenue um, every single month for huge companies all the way down to small startups that are um, in the digital ad space. So I'm really excited to be part of that space and to see kind of um, how that how that matures as part of Zoom Info's for the market offer. Wow, that is so exciting to hear. That is so interesting that y'all are getting into the digital ad space. Um, you you know, you just, the stigma is you don't think there's enough room in that space with Google and all the big players, but I guess it makes sense that, you know, Zoom Info, you're the big player in lead gen, so you guys have, uh, you're ready for this. That's amazing. Yeah. All right, favorite part of the pod, I'm going to do a little walk around. Your advice to your younger self on that professional side, of course, and, you know, with your meteoric rise at your company at Zoom Info Discover, you know, how could someone else do that in their career quicker without messing up a bunch? And then on the personal side. Yeah, so um, my advice to my younger self and, and to younger folks out there who may be watching is be open minded and be a sponge and constantly challenge the assumptions that you have about yourself and about the world. And the reason I say that is, um, and as you pointed out, Jacob, from a previous conversation, how I kind of talked about my uh, very sort of one track mind. And I was like, I was always thinking I was going to go to law school. And, and here I am in SaaS sales several years later. Um, had I been a little bit more open minded when I was in high school, when I was in college, and just thinking about the types of things that I could participate in or, or explore, um, I may have discovered some of the passions that I've discovered now many, many years earlier, but I was always just so convinced that I had it all figured out. Um, wow. And, and I missed I a lot of stuff for so many years. So yeah, just be open-minded awesome. and explore everything. Don't, uh, don't rule anything out and, you know, get comfortable putting yourself in uncomfortable positions because sometimes those uncomfortable positions, um, those serve as the foundation for something beautiful to grow into. Wow, I love that. It's almost like don't think that you know everything about yourself and what you like. That is, that's such different advice that you don't hear that often. Yeah, I love that. And and then um, okay, so that kind of uh, uh, feeds the personal side and the career side. Unless um, you know uh, how you know maybe you could do one a little more on uh, maybe becoming what you're looking for if someone's watching this and they really their dream is to work in SaaS sales and zoom info would be their top prospect you know maybe just end the pod with uh you know what's the secret sauce of uh really standing out to zoom info for sure yeah that's that's a great question this is a kind of an ongoing conversation that starts when we're talking to a, a candidate who's interested in working here and really continues on uh, once they're hired and, and as we have one-to-ones, you know, as an SDR manager, I always want to know, like, why do you care? Why do you, why do you put 110% effort into everything? Like, what's your why, um, to borrow the, the Simon Sinek line? Like, what really matters to you in life and in the bigger picture? And then how can we tie your role as an SDR at Zoom Info and your career growth and your personal growth how can we tie all those things into what you're doing during business hours while you're working on prospecting new business for Zoom Info? And if we can tie those things together, that's when people get really dangerous because you have that context, you understand why it matters for people. And it's much less about me as a manager just coming to somebody and saying, hey, did you make your dials today? Hey, did you send your emails today? Did you have the right number of conversations today? And it's a lot more about, hey, let's talk about how all of those things fit into that end goal. Like you're, you want to buy that house. You want to take your spouse on that vacation to Europe for two months. Um, and it's so much more fulfilling to have those types of conversations. So my advice to anybody who's looking to work at Zoom Info is 
think about what's your why? Why do you why do you get out of bed in the morning? What makes you passionate? What makes you kind of hit that overdrive level? Because that's kind of the that's the level that we operate at 24-7. Okay. Be in Ferrari mode. I just that's love it. that advice. I, I love that. All right. Well, Zach, I'm going to let you get back to it, man. Meeting with Henry Shuck and you squeezed in time for the old SDR Alpha podcast. Hey, Thank always so a much, pleasure, Zach. Jacob. I, I appreciate the invite. Uh, looks like you're going to have a, a great afternoon out there by the pool. It's a little bit cold where I'm out in Michigan, although sunny today. So uh, may get a little walk in later, but no pool time yet. So you enjoy that on my behalf, too. Amazing. Amazing. Well, hey. I'm going to go hit some cold calls too. I, I come here for the backdrop. So, hey, don't, don't make me look lazy here. <laughs> Thank you right. so much, Zach. All right, Jacob. We'll see you soon. All righty. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.